Okay, well, I think we'll begin. Um, so I just wanted to say good evening and thank you all for joining us tonight. My name is Leanne House. I'm the director with Westworld Tours. Um, I will be facilitating the presentation this evening and joining me is Cindy Erickson, a senior tour coordinator with Westworld Tours. Now, before we begin the presentation, I just have a couple of things I'd like to mention. Everyone is on mute um, and you, you might like to ask a question or two during the presentation. So please feel free to type your questions into the Q&A box located at the bottom of your screen. If you've joined us from Facebook, uh, you can type your question into the comments section and we welcome your questions at any time throughout and we'll answer as many as we can at the end of our presentation. Throughout the presentation, we will conduct a series of pop-up polls asking for your participation by making a simple selection. If you are viewing from Facebook, the polls will not pop up, uh, but you can type your response into the comment section. Your input is greatly appreciated and it will help us going forward with future presentations and tour planning. And here is our first pop-up poll. Please let us know if you would like to sign up for our email newsletter. Let's launch that now. Okay, so if you'd like to sign up, you can sign up for both Westworld Tours and Women Explorers, just Women Explorers, just Westworld Tours, um, not at all. And if you're already receiving it, just let us know and uh, you don't need to do that. Looks like people are having a hard time hearing us. Is it, is it better now? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Cindy, are you hearing me okay? Yeah, Leanne, I hear you just fine. Perfect, great. Okay, thank you all for sharing um, your newsletter preferences with us. Okay. So we'll move on and um, I'll tell you a little bit about Westworld Tours. As Western Canadians premier motor coach tour company, Westworld Tours has been serving Canadians from coast to coast with escorted travel throughout North America and around the world since 2000, celebrating our 20th anniversary last year. We offer quality components to all tours, including modern comfortable coaches, professional tour directors, experienced courteous drivers, baggage handling and excellent accommodations. Our tour directors include, or sorry, our tours include all the sites and attractions important to our guests. We also provide several meals throughout the tour. Thousands of passengers have chosen Westworld Tours first class style of motor coach touring, enjoying the great value, security and stress free environment, all while making new friendships along the way. We receive a high level of satisfaction from our passenger surveys, and I know our tour directors love seeing familiar faces on our tours. So we have a second pop-up poll for you now, and we'd like to know if you have traveled with us before. So I'll just uh, whoop, launch that. Oh, okay. Sorry, let's try that again there. Are you seeing the pop-up poll? Something's going on on this end. Maybe that's not showing it. Okay, there we go. I think we got it now. Can everyone see the poll? Yeah, perfect. So let us know if you've traveled with us before. If you're joining from Facebook, you won't see the pop-up poll, but um, you can let us know in the comments, yes, if you've traveled with us before or no, if you haven't. There's a few people that are having trouble hearing me, it looks like. Um, this is being recorded, so we can send you, uh, you will get the email with this link to the presentation tomorrow. Uh, I apologize if, if you can't hear me. Um, hopefully, you will, uh, you will be able to hear us on the recording when you watch it tomorrow. Okay, so it looks like uh, there's about 26 of you that are 26% of you that have traveled with us before and 74% uh, have not. So welcome to those who have not traveled with us before. 
and uh, welcome back everyone who have traveled with us. Okay, so um, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Uh, Westworld Tours it, is proud to have provided refunds in full to all of our travelers affected by canceled tours due to COVID-19. After all, you should decide when and where to travel, not us. Having your travel pl plans canceled and not knowing when you are able to travel again was disheartening enough. We know COVID-19 has changed today's world, but Westworld Tours remains committed to the well-being of our travelers and our team. We are doing all that we can to adapt to the new requirements and expectations and have enhanced our already robust health and safety protocols to keep everyone safe while traveling with us. We ask that you visit our website for the most up-to-date COVID-19 information and travel policies. So we have a really great lineup of tours coming up in the next few weeks. On uh, September 22nd, next week at 7 p.m., Carrie Carpenter will be joining us to talk about our Newfoundland and Labrador tour. Carrie's one of our tour, tour directors and she's done this tour several times and uh, it's one of her favorite destinations. So she'll be able to tell you a little bit more about Newfoundland and Labrador. On October 6th, we have our Black Hills and Medora tour. And uh, that's always a really great tour. And Fred's going to be joining us and talking about that tour. And on October 13th, we will take you on a journey to the last frontier. Uh, Coral will be joining us and she'll be talking about our Alaska and the Yukon tour. So, and if you've missed any of, your, of our previous presentations, we have them all available for viewing on our website at westworldtours.com. And you can let us know which future tours or destinations you would like to travel. Enter your suggestions into the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. If you've joined us from Facebook, you can enter them into the comments or you can always send us an email. We love to hear from you and it helps us with future tour planning. Now let's get on to our uh, quilt week in Branson. So immerse yourself in a brightly patterned journey that brings you closer to the people, places and quilts that color your world on our quilting tour to Branson, Missouri and the American Quilters uh, Society Quilt Week. And this tour is uh, March 20th to 31st of 2022. And now I am pleased to introduce you to Cindy Erickson, our senior tour coordinator. Cindy has been in the travel industry for 40 years and has traveled all over the globe, bringing a wealth of experience and knowledge. Welcome, Cindy. Thanks, Leanne. I'm glad to be here. Well, hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this evening. Um, we've got a great tour lined up here for you. And as you can see on the slide in front of you, this tour is going to depart March 20th and return home March 31st. There's a lot of uh, nice inclusions and some great highlights, like a five night stay in fun and exciting Branson, including two of Branson's popular dinner shows. We've got three full days of admission to the AQS or the American Quilter Society quilt show in Branson. This is the first year it's being held in Branson, so I'm sure they're going to be uh, a fabulous show for us. Uh, we've concluded, uh, let's see what else, um, some shows. There is a couple of dinners included. We've got your transportation, your accommodations. Our hotel is located um, right next door to or adjoining the actual uh, conference center in Branson. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. But if the quilt show isn't enticing enough, we've also included a full day in Hamilton, Missouri, dubbed the Disneyland of quilting and home to Missouri Star Quilt Company. So I know we're all excited about that too. We have a map here on the slide, um, just to give you some perspective on the route that we're gonna be traveling down to. We're gonna start in Saskatchewan and make our way over to Winnipeg for the first night. And if you're traveling or joining us from another province, it's very easy for you to fly into Winnipeg and join the tour there. Our hotel does include complimentary uh, transfers to and from the airport. And on day two, you guys can all sit back and enjoy the onboard atmosphere, entertainment, and the changing scenery as we travel from Winnipeg through the Minnesota and Iowa countryside, where we're gonna spend the night in Sioux City on the way down. Then we're going to head into the beautiful Ozark Mountains, arriving in Branson just in time for opening day of the quilt show, which will start the next morning. 
coming home, we're going to, after our five night stay in Branson, we'll head further north, staying one night in St. Joseph before traveling up again through um, South Dakota for the night in Watertown before heading back into Winnipeg and home then to Saskatchewan. So day four of the tour is actually your first day of the American Quilt Society Quilt Show. They are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. There you're gonna find a variety of special quilt exhibits to view along with the display of contest quilts, some amazing contest quilts. And you can take in workshops and lectures from top quilting instructors and shop the huge merchant mall filled with vendors that are offering the latest machines, fabrics and other tools for quilt making. Again, those uh, it's open from uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then you'll have your evening free to um, do as you wish. Day five of the tour is another day to browse the quilt show. You can come and go as you please, as I mentioned uh, earlier, as our hotel is attached to the convention center in downtown Branson, where the quilt show is being held. Uh, you'll find that many of the vendors are gonna provide you with 15 to 30 minute presentations where they will wow you with their products and techniques, uh, which can give you a fantastic amount of inspiration for your own products, as well as they're gonna show you how the gadgets are best used. It's kind of like those demo booths at the fairs, but better. And then later that evening, we're gonna take you to the Dolly Parton Stampede and Dinner Show. Uh, you'll be able to stroll down the beautiful horse walk and meet the four-legged stars of the show, then settle in to enjoy a four-course dinner and prepare yourself to be entertained. The show is amazing with spectacular special effects and musical productions. In addition to the cast, in addition to the cast of 32 magnificent horses and top-notch trick riders that perform at top speeds, you're sure to be captivated and have a wonderful, enjoyable evening. Day six of our tour, you can take advantage of your last day at the quilt show. Um, we also have plans to visit a couple of the craft malls in Branson today for any that wish to join. Uh, this evening, uh, you are transported back to the days of paddle wheel river boats along the Mississippi River as you board the showboat Branson Bell, which is uh, an image there shown on the bottom right hand side of your screen. Uh, you'll have a leisurely dinner cruise on Table Rock Lake. You can enjoy the amazing panoramic views and natural beauty of the Ozarks. It's a great way to spend the evening, complete with an upbeat and exciting variety show to entertain you with music from the 60s and beyond, which is performed by a talented group of singers, dancers, and musicians. It's a great evening. Day seven of the tour is yours and yours alone. Um, you're free to explore the city of Branson on your own. And trust me, there is no shortage of things to see and do in Branson. You may wanna take in one of the many incredible shows that Branson has to offer or get some more last minute shopping done. Your tour director will provide you with endless suggestions and can help you with making the arrangements if you like. Um, some options besides the shows, the shows that you might find interesting, um, you can take a train trip on the Branson Scenic Railway and you can see the image on the top left-hand uh, side of your screen there. It's about a one hour, 45 minute train tour through the beautiful Ozark countryside on a vintage train. The cars have all been restored and refurbished and offer the same first class experience and ambience that they did almost 50 years ago. And one that I know I would like to, to oh, I should mention too, in that picture of the Branson Scenic Railway, there you see the Hilton Hotel um, sprouting up from behind the um, train there. That is actually the hotel that we will be staying in in Branson. So you can see how convenient it would be to take that little hour and 45 minute train tour. But uh, one of the attractions that I find fascinating and would love to, to visit myself is the Titanic Museum. It's on, an image there on the bottom right hand side of your screen. They offer an experience that is a true tribute to the iconic ship and its passengers from its fateful voyage in 1912. It features over 400 priceless artifacts 
interactive displays and exhibits. It's uh, fully recreated cabins and parlors. And of course their showpiece is the uh, exact replica of the $1 million grand staircase. They offer a self-guided tour here and you can spend as much time as you like exploring the museum. Um, it would likely take you a couple hours uh, to fully explore it. Another top popular spot is the Hollywood Box Museum. And there's a picture there on the top right hand of your screen. It is, uh, I'm, I know I'm always amazed at how lifelike those wax figures are. So that's always an enjoyable option. And if you do happen to be out shopping and uh, you definitely should check out the Dix 5 and 10, which is the image on the bottom left hand side of your screen. It's uh, one of the last of an American tradition and a Branson iconic experience for over 55 years. You need to allow yourself at least one hour to, to get through here. There's so much to see. They have over 10,000 square feet of merchandise to explore. So it could take you a while to get through. And that's just, just a couple of suggestions. Like, as I mentioned, your tour director is gonna have tons of options for you and can make arrangements for shows as well. So uh, again, the, the show is, it is the final day of the quilt show that day. And if you did want to attend, you, you're more than welcome to. It, you would have to purchase the admission for that one day. And they are only open uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., I believe, on, on the Saturday. So on, on day eight of our tour, we're going to bid farewell to Branson and begin our travel northward. Um, as I mentioned, making our way to St. Joseph, Missouri. On the way, we're gonna start, make a stop in Carthage, Missouri for a visit and tour of the Precious Moments Chapel. Now, I think most of us are, are familiar with those little figurines, the Precious Moments. Uh, well, their, their artist and creator, Samuel L. Butcher, uh, pardon me, Samuel J. Butcher, designed and constructed the chapel after visiting um, Rome and, and Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. And uh, he actually broke ground on the uh, building the chapel in 1985 and it opened five years later in 89 and Samuel himself did spend four years painting the chapel walls and ceiling and it has become his crowning work it really is a, a very unique um, place and a, a wonderful little experience as you can see at the bottom left hand corner of the screen that's an image of the front gate leading in front of the walk up to the chapel. You can see the chapel there in, in the background. It's very intricate. Um, you can uh, look forward to learning more about the chapel, the many stained glass windows, the intricately carved doors, and the perfectly imperfect blue angel. You really do have to look for that little blue angel when you're um, in the chapel. And there's a lot of other incredible details that you will learn about on our visit there. When we leave, um, after ha having some lunch, we're going to leave um, Carthage and head north again, or I should say back to St. Joseph, where we'll spend the evening. And then on the next day is another exciting day, as we're going to depart this morning for a trip to Hamilton, Missouri, home to the world's largest spool of thread. Um, as you can see, it's on the left side of your screen. And Hamilton has generated quite a list of nicknames. It's been called the Disneyland of quilting, the quilting capital of the world and Quilt Town USA. And the last one, uh, Quilt Town USA, is painted on a giant mural in the middle of town. Um, shown, and that one is shown in actually the top right corner of your, your screen. The Missouri Star Quilt Company fills 12 Hamilton storefronts dedicated to the art of quilting and is the hometown of their founder, Jenny Doan, as most of you may know. Uh, you can shop here till you drop for quilting gadgets, fabric, and notions. And Hamilton, I don't know if everybody is aware of this, but Hamilton is also known as the hometown of James Cash Penny, who was the founder of the J.C. Penny stores. You can visit the original J.C. Penny store, as you can see, it's pictured there in the uh, bottom middle of your screen. And uh, this one, this store is also now owned by the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and it's aptly named Penny's. From here, we'll travel um, back to St. Joseph for, for our evening and travel to, I'm sorry, 
from there, yes, from there we will travel from St. Joseph back to St. Joseph's for the evening. The next morning we'll depart St. Joseph and uh, head to Watertown, South Dakota, where we will enjoy our West World tours, farewell dinner, and reminisce with your friends, your new friends about the fun and lasting memories that you've made along the way. And from there, from Watertown, after spending the evening, we head back into Winnipeg, where we'll say goodbye to any of our, our new friends that have joined us there and head on back to Saskatchewan. So that is uh, the, the gist of, of our tour. And now we are more than happy to get to any of your questions that you, that you have. So please, let's have a look, Leanne, and see what we've got for some questions. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like we have actually any questions right now. So well, if anybody has a question, sorry? That's okay. I, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, some people may ask about registrations and, and registering for the, um, the quilt show. Let's just see. It looks like Wanda has raised her hand. I'm not sure what she's Wanda, if you do have a question, could you please just type it into the Q&A box on your screen? And we're more than happy to answer your question. Um, it's always recommended to register uh, for these quilt shows if you want to take in any of the uh, workshops uh, in particular so that you can get yourself signed up. They do sometimes fill up quite early. And uh, when you're booking on the tour, we send you out all that information with the links to register. And uh, as I said, we have included your, your three days admission to the show and, um, and we'll make sure we let you know when the registrations do open. I don't believe they're gonna open the registrations for the show workshops until mid to late December of 2021, if anybody was curious about that. Uh, we do include some Perfect. breakfasts on this tour, and um, the ones in Branson are not. They are on your own. And uh, again, there are three meals, I believe, that we include, three dinners um, as well, which is the Dolly Parton Stampede show and dinner, the Branson Bell show and dinner, and our farewell dinner in Waterton. Perfect. Um, so we have a couple questions coming in now, Cindy. Okay, Cheryl great. asks, where do you depart from in Saskatchewan? Okay, well, we do. Um, our, our main pickups are both in Saskatoon and Regina. Um, and of course, um, stops along the way, along the route. So a moose jaw is always an option as well. And uh, you can certainly contact your local travel agent and they would be able to confirm our pickup locations in Saskatchewan. Yeah, so Moose Jaw passengers will be shuttled to Regina. Um, mm -hmm. And then we do, like Cindy said, stop along the way. So whether that's Mooseman or Brandon, Manitoba, we can we can pick up along the way there. So that's right. handy for anyone who's in that area. Uh, Wanda asks, and uh, someone else too is, is wondering the cost of the tour. So that can all be found on our website or you can contact your local travel agent. Our, our website is westworldtours.com and uh, you can find it under the Canada USA tour tab and uh, you'll see the AQS uh, Branson Quilters tour there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Carol asks, do you offer this tour for non-quilters taking in shows and other activities? I'm sure that that is something, um, you know, that we do have our normal um, tour lineup to Branson where we do include shows. It is usually held in uh, November that we travel down. And actually we do still have space available, I believe on our Branson, Nashville and Pigeon Forge tour uh, that's scheduled to depart in November. And that one where, you know, we do have um, shows included and then we do make arrangements with our tour directors to get you to, uh, you know, shows that you are interested in if we are not including them in our tour lineup. But this particular tour, you're more than welcome to join us. And uh, I'm sure our tour director, who has probably been to Branson many, many times, would be more than happy to make arrangements to see the shows. Perfect. Um, Cheryl also asked, do Weyburn people get shuttled to Regina as well? 
No, Weyburn is not um, one of our pickup locations, so we wouldn't be transferring um, anybody out of there. But if you can make your way to Regina, uh, we do have pre and post night hotel accommodations available in both Regina and Saskatoon if you're traveling in and need to be there the night before because of uh, perhaps an early departure the next day. Um, those can all be booked when you um, are booking your tour and depositing. Also, parking is included at the hotels. They they do not charge you for parking if you're you know booking a pre pre night accommodations. You can leave your car there in their parking lot uh, for the duration of the tour. Perfect. Uh, we have another question from Barbara, and she. Um, commented that the tour looks very interesting and is wondering if we have a company that will provide health insurance for COVID. Well, that is something that you should definitely um, check with your travel agents, your you know preferred travel agents. They are the professionals on the travel insurance and can advise you accordingly and, and which companies will cover for, for COVID. Um, I myself am not up to speed on that, but your travel agent certainly is. I would highly recommend that you contact them to discuss your insurance needs. Perfect. Um, and then we have another question. Uh, with the US not allowing Canadians in, are the tours still able to go? That is a great question right now. Well, we're certainly hoping that situation has changed. I know we here at Westworld Tours are waiting patiently to hear what um, is going to happen on September 1st, 21st, pardon me, when they're scheduled to reopen the borders, the Americans are scheduled to allow us to cross the border um, via vehicle. And we're waiting patiently for that um, to hear. Obviously, we're hopeful that come May or March, when this tour is traveling, that the situation will change. It is changing every day. And at this point, we are just planning business as usual and um, watching to see how things develop. Leanne, do you have anything to add to that? No, uh, it's just, uh, it because it is a little ways away, we are, as Cindy said, monitoring the situation. Fingers crossed that the borders will open. Um, you know, next week when they say they will uh, or when the announcement's going to be held and uh, and there's still quite a bit of time so you know things are changing rapidly and and uh, you know we never know what will happen come March and uh, so with that being said um, we have refunded all of our cancelled tours in full as uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of the presentation and these tours are also fully refundable up until 60 days prior to departure um, so by that time um, we will hopefully have a better idea of what's happening in the world and whether we're able to travel down into the states uh, across the land borders or not. But um, so, if, you know, you don't need to uh, have any worry that if you want to put your deposit down and save a spot on the tour for yourself, your deposits are safe with us and you will get a full refund and you can cancel for any reason up until 60 days prior to departure. So. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. Perfect. And we have another question here. Um, if I'm traveling from BC to Regina, can you suggest parking while on tour? Well, as I said, if you're traveling in from BC and you're uh, driving, you're most likely going to be coming into Regina the night before um, the tour starts. So if you were to book a pre night hotel with us, your parking is um, free at the hotel for the duration of the tour. And if you decide to fly, because who knows what the weather will be like in March, um, you can either fly into Regina or you can fly right to Winnipeg and uh, that saves you the, the, the travel across the prairies. So that's always an option too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Barb asks, do you know which tour director will be assigned to this trip? And will it be someone who is a quilter? Well, we're not sure at this point, it's too far out to say who our tour director is going to be. I could volunteer myself because I have done quilting in the past, however, not to the capacity that we will see at this, uh, this quilt show. 
but I have definitely made a couple of quilts and I've even, you know, hand stitched mm -hmm. them. So um, thank you to my grandmothers of the past. And uh, so I do have a few quilting skills, Leah, and you can always, you know, remember that. <laughs> but yeah, it is yeah. a little too far out right now to, to know which tour director um, will be leading this particular tour. And uh, do you require travelers to be fully vaccinated? Leanne, take it away. I know you're familiar with this one. <laughs> so um, when you are traveling um, out of the pro out of the country, you uh, by flight anyway, you're 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 required to be fully vaccinated. Um, and I believe October, I want to say the 13th. I don't know the date for sure, but there is um, requirements for traveling on uh, passenger trains, planes, um, ferries, all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you are required to be fully vaccinated. So yes, that applies to all of our tours that we're, we're traveling on, uh, something like that. So International, um, yes. in a roundabout way, then yes. We, Again, we you can go required. to our, our, um, our website and visit our website, uh, thewestroadtours.com. Mm -hmm. They, we do have our travel policies listed there for COVID-19. So please, um, you know, check it out, go there and read what it says. But yes, for international travel at this point, it is uh, fully vaccinated. Yeah. And you never know what's going to happen in the next, um, you know, few months with, with everything. But at this time, uh, it is required. So... Okay, and I think that that is all, unless anyone has anything else. I can just wait a couple minutes here. I don't know. Do we have any yeah. questions on Facebook, Leanne? Doesn't look like it, no. Um, oh, hang on here. Uh, okay, so uh, we do have a couple comments. Um, Mary Ann is saying she has not traveled with Westworld yet. So uh, oh, we welcome well, you to Mary join Ann. us anytime, Mary Ann. And what else do we have here? Okay. Are there any tours in 2021? Um, so Brenda, if you're still watching us on Facebook, we actually have a tour on the road right now. We have a group that is in Victoria. Actually, they're on their way home. So they've left Victoria this morning and they are in Kelowna for their uh for the night. Um, so that was the only tour that we had um, available for 2021. We'd still have our Branson old time Christmas tour available. And uh, with that one getting closer, we are monitoring the situation to see whether the border will be opening. But um, as, as of right now, we are planning to go ahead with that one, providing uh, we are able to. Uh, Marianne comments the Branson and Bella's awesome, super food and even better entertainment. So that's great news. Yes. And okay, Brenda is asking where I where can I find and where oh, can I'm I sorry, find Nina. when and how much a trip? Where does it leave from? Okay, uh, so Brenda, you can visit our website. Would probably be the best spot. You can see all of our tours listed there. Uh, you can find out how much they all are. Some of them are still in the works, so they'll have a deposit only, but you can pre-register for the deposit only. And then when the, when the pricing is available, we will provide that to you and, um, and go from there. And so most of our trips leave from Saskatchewan. Uh, several of them are fly tours, so they'll depart from airports uh, throughout Western Canada. And um, the rest leave generally from Regina or Saskatoon. And uh, so you can join from there or like this option, we have Winnipeg as a start, start city, um, our Victoria, for example, you can start in Calgary or pick up along the way. Um, some of them go through Edmonton for the first night. So there's, there's lots of different options where you can pick up the tour. Yeah, depending on uh, which comment. tour it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I think that was all the questions that we had on Facebook. Wow, there is one uh, more here question. It just came in yes. from Belinda. She's asking if this tour will have an opportunity to visit Sol Silver Dollar City. Uh, we don't have it included in our uh, in this particular tour. Obviously, 
the Silver Dollar City is is not hard to get to. Um, again, I'm sure on your free day that that is something that uh, you could take in and your tour director could possibly help make the arrangements for you. And, you know, perhaps it's you and a few friends that are that are looking at going and taking in Silver Dollar City on your uh, free day there. So um, definitely not out of the question. Perfect. 